Hi guys, it's Maka here from an Adventurous World. If this is the first time to my channel, I'm an adventure travel blogger and photographer. It is an absolutely glorious day today here in London, so I've grabbed my camera and headed down to Hyde Park. There's a bit of a kind of sculpture festival going on at the moment with a few sculptures dotted around the park, so I really wanted to take some shots of that. But also I wanted to test drive the new Manfrotto Nori camera backpack. I want to see what it's like, you know, out and about, put it through its paces and see how it is as a travel camera backpack. So this is the Manfrotto Nora camera backpack. Uh, it's basically designed for kind of weekend trips, kind of like little breaks away. Um, it is a mirrorless camera system. So basically you've got the lower half, which is where you've got your camera and your lenses, and then your upper half, which is kind of more for other bits and bobs, like your filters, audio recorders, um, road mics, things like that. A really nice feature I like in this backpack is the fact that not only does the kind of compartment open up at a really nice angle so you can just take your camera you know, in and out when you're on the go, it also is a completely separate compartment that comes out as well. So you can kind of take off the Velcro there and then it's attached by Velcro at the bottom. And then it creates this cool little compartment as well, which kind of becomes a messenger bag. So you can just zip it up and then it's got like a little strap at the back and then it's also kind of got a messenger strap at the front so you can, you know, just sling it over your shoulder like that. As I said, like the top's kind of more for your other little bits and bobs. So in here I've kind of got road mic, um, you know, I've got a few filters that I always carry around. Like another little tripod kind of uses for vlogging, you know, for holding out, which is always nice and easy. One thing I noticed on the back as well is it comes with a 15 inch laptop case, which is pretty standard for most big camera bags. But like one thing, I noticed about this, which is quite different, is the fact that it completely comes off. Yeah, that's like a really nice little feature to have. Attaching the tripod to the bag is really simple. Uh, you just open up one of the tripod arms ever so slightly and you kind of loop the Velcro through, make sure it's nice and tight. And then the second one is always even easier. You just kind of get that up and tight as well. Close the arm. Um, you know, make sure that's all kind of packed down tightly and then just the flap kind of loops up like that. And yeah, that's as simple as that. And you know, it is really nice and secure as well. There's a little zip at the top for knickknacks, which is always handy on any bag and it actually goes really down quite deep. I mean, look, that's kind of down to the main compartment area. Um, inside I've obviously just got batteries for everything. Every cameraman needs spare batteries. One thing that I love about Manfrotto bags is they're always kind of designed for usability. So it's not necessarily like about what makes the best bag or what looks the best bag, but they really think about, you know, how comfortable things are and how usable it all is. For the bag itself, it kind of comes with a sternum strap, which is really nice. I kind of, I like having this because it's like, I don't know, when you're walking around and traveling like all day uh, and you're you know, walking around a city for like eight, nine hours a day, then like you really do notice that your shoulders start to pinch back quite a lot. Um, and then this just kind of keeps it together, which I really like as well. And let's just go and take some photos around Hyde Park and you know, see how the bag does. That's my review of the new Manfrotto Nori camera backpack. The thing that I really like about this bag is you can tell that it's specifically been designed for mirrorless shooters on weekends away and I'm really looking forward to trying it out on a few trips I've got coming up. Obviously, if you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. I always make sure that I get back to everyone. And of course, if you liked this video, then give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future.